Hi, I'm Emily Napierski. I'm from Orem, Utah, and I am here to submit my video to apply for Jordan School District. Some skills and strategies that I would use effectively to engage students in learning um, come from various things that I've learned. Um, in my most recent teaching position, I worked at an alternative school, meaning that I had to provide many different ways to reach students of all different backgrounds. Um, first of all, I use the skill of creativity to engage different learners. I've learned through learning about different teaching pedagogy um, that there are visual learners, there are tactile learners and auditory learners. And so with that being said, I love to have engaging lessons um, that pull students, that are able to pull from those skill sets of different students to ensure that we have experiences that can be talked about, that the students have proper ways to demonstrate their understanding by doing something tactile, especially when it comes to the culinary, especially when it comes to the CTE classroom. With our culinary classes and our fashion design classes, we do a lot of hands-on projects, which makes um, student work come out really well. Additionally, having students um, work in groups to uh, work on projects, having them work in teams and pairs in order to amplify their learning and in order to help them really um, come to terms with and solidify that knowledge in their minds has also been a way that I've been able to engage students. Students will be able to benefit benefit with me as their, as their educator because I am willing to accommodate different needs and I am excited and ready to do that. Um, some ways that I will use assessment to improve my learning outcomes, I've done this in various ways, but I feel that it is very important to use assessment to gauge before and after understanding of the lessons that I teach. For example, I recently did a pre and post assessment after teaching a unit on culinary math because math is a subject that my students have especially struggled with. and being able to figure out where they were at so that I knew what exactly needed to be touched on and then comparing that data to then the data that I gathered now in order to see where the concepts really hit or missed was essential. Um, using that data, it will now help me to teach that lesson in the future and it will also help me um, to better help students and their specific learning needs. I will also plan lessons to develop intentional learning outcomes to meet the di diverse needs of the student population by providing multiple ways for students to complete assignments. Um, it's not that we're just giving an assignment and having students take notes and take a test on things. It's that we, I want to incorporate labs. I enjoy um, finding group work assignments or finding ways that students can demonstrate the, their understanding of certain areas and of certain skill sets um, in various ways. And I'm excited to do that.